The Liquid Muse, Natalie Bovis, is mixing up some festive cocktails that will add some holiday cheer to your party. Good morning. Absolutely. Welcome to the Liquid Muse. Thank you. Yeah. Great to have you back. <laughs> you know, a lot of people that have experienced your mixology and your bartending skills are probably excited to come and visit you. However, over the holidays, a lot of people want people to come to their own home and entertain, but they want to be able to do what you do and impress their guests at the same time. So can you give us some help? It's so easy. Okay. Really. It's okay. so easy. What we're going to do today is focus on three uh, cocktails that really you should know how to make. Okay. They're, okay. they're, they're, very, they're classics, modern classics, and they're super duper easy. Okay, good. So we're going to start with a Cosmo. Got to have a Cosmo. Now, Cosmo like sounds really simple, but drink. there's... Exactly, and there's a million ways to screw it up by making it too sweet, for yes, example. Yes. So we're going to add about two ounces of vodka. And any kind Wallace. of vodka that you choose. Any kind of vodka you like. You can use like a citron vodka, a citrus flavored vodka, okay. if you want to get a little bit more creative. Okay. You can, um, you know, whatever, plain vodka, whatever you like. Okay. And so then we're going to squeeze now fresh juices yeah. are the key. See, so so I need to cocktails. get one. So what, okay. are the, what are these citrus called? Citrus press. Citrus, citrus press. press. We, we need to get one of those. Store. Those are good. So you squeeze about half a lime okay. into a lime. there. Gotcha. Super duper easy, right? Okay. We're mm -hmm. going to add a little tiny smidge of simple syrup, which is just sugar water. You don't oh. have to do this if you don't like your drink too sweet, if you just want to add a little sweet. Okay. But a little bit of sweet actually brings out the flavor in the right. cocktail. So you okay. want a little bit of that. We're going to add about half to three quarters of an ounce of an orange liqueur. Mm -hmm. You can use a Cointreau, Grand Marnier. I'm using a blood orange liqueur that I really like. Blood orange? Blood orange, yes. Oh, so there are no blood orange liqueur. dangerous. This is really good, actually. And it, okay. again, a little slight <laughs> a little twist, okay. you know. It's like the, uh, the um, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> it reminds me of the vampire movies. Like, oh, even the bottle. Twilight. Yeah. Twilight. Twilight. It's like a twilight drink. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put a little bit of cranberry juice, just enough to turn it a bit pink. Okay. okay. Now we're going to fill this oh, with ice. Okay. And then comes what I call the fun part. Yeah. The shake. Shake, shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. So we give this a nice good mm -hmm. shake. You can make that part of like the entertainment. Exactly. And <laughs> always smile when you shake. Yeah, you always. Smile. And you're getting the arm work out at the same time. I right? know. It's awesome. And then you get to wait. drink after you work out. It's perfect. I love it. So we'll just strain this into a martini glass. Oh, that's pretty. Now you can garnish this with a lime wheel. Just cut the lime. Just make a little lime wheel, stick it on the edge. Okay. Or you can uh -huh. do a flamed orange. Dale DeGroff, Ooh. who's the granddaddy of mixology. Yeah. Um, who created, well, he's one of the creators of the strength. Okay. Oh. Um, that's a story for another day. Okay. Um, well, he, he likes to garnish it with a, a flamed orange. So you get okay. a little slice of orange, you light it, and go, pssst, and the oils from the orange, like, spray. It's that's really cool. cool. We'll do it on the show sometime. Cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's yeah. That's like a perfect pink. We should do, like, fiery mm. cocktails one day. That I would love be cosmos. That would be a fun one. And so taste that. Tell me what you think. Okay. It's a little bit more tart, not overly sweet. I love Cosmos. Yeah, they too. could be dangerous, though, Looks so you good. might want to be have your designated driver, of course, because these are really good. And the good. DD of the day, so. And you yes. see how easy the it is to make a great it's delicious. drink, right? right. So, anyway, uh, we're going to move on, and now we're going to talk about margaritas. Okay. We're in New Mexico, and okay. i got to say, I can't tell you how many times I've been disappointed with margaritas. You make the best. Because they're too sweet. No, you make right. the best margarita I've ever had. Rule number one. Thank you. You did. Rule number one with margaritas. If you have that fluorescent yellow sweet and sour bottle, yeah. take it. Put it in the garbage. Really? Okay. I am not even kidding you. It's, it's so bad. disgusting. That's okay. okay. So we're going to start with fresh lime. Okay. It's not that hard. You take it, you stick it in your citrus press, Love squeeze citrus it right press. in there. Mm -hmm. it's half Easy a lime. peasy. Okay. Now, so about half a lime. Okay. Now you can use simple syrup, which is the sugar syrup, or here I have a little agave syrup. Mm. Oh so you my. get agave okay. nectar from the health food store. Okay. Mix it with hot water, about equal parts. Pour just about half an ounce in there. Mm. Again, we have a blood orange liqueur. You can use any kind of orange liqueur. Okay. okay. So you see, you just buy a few simple ingredients for your home bar, and so it'll work for several, several yeah, cocktails. Several I like that right. multitasking uh -huh. with your alcohol. And good. then we're going to add about an ounce and a half of tequila. Oh. Now, here we have a margarita glass. We're going to rim the glass. Rimming the glass yeah, is really easy. It. You just rub. A piece of, I like to use lime for margaritas around the edge of the glass. Okay. Here I got salt and I mix it with chili powder. I love Ooh, the chili. That's right? what I had the other night. That was, I had that on Friday night. That so, was so Very good. southwestern, a little chili powder with the salt. Super okay. easy. Gives a New Mexico flair. It gives it a little flair. kick. It uh -huh. gives it like the salty flavor, it, but it gives you that kick at the same it time. It gives it a little you New Mexico like you're in New Mexico. Uh, you right? <laughs> well said, Natalie Bovis. <laughs> and again, a good shake. Sure. Sure. You want to shake this one? You do it. Yeah, I'll shake it. Go yeah. for it. Good. 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 Good.
Nice, I'm just nice. doing a few ice cubes to keep it cold. Yeah. So, is it, by the way, why are you guys not drinking? Here's yeah, margarita. Because Kristen has to do the news is, okay, at And this is what I was going to ask. So, okay, I'm looking at all these wonderful okay. drinks. Now, mm -hmm. Cosmo, you can't really do that, non-alcoholic. But, yeah. actually, in, in my book, Pregatinis, I have the Cosmom. The Cosmom. Which is a non-alcoholic uh, Cosmo for um, pregnant ladies, where you use limeade mm. instead of tequila. Oh, um, really? And then just use See, um, a little great. bit of orange juice instead of the orange liqueur. Okay. And then add um, a, uh, the cranberry juice the cranberry and fresh juice. lime. Now, yeah. what about this perfect margarita? Idea. Because, you know, sometimes mm. kids want to, you know, like I, I for designated dryers, pre yeah. pregnant Right, women, children, um, underage, whatever. Well, well, margaritas are a fun drink. How do you how do you make it good, it good. without well, using like this? Well, I'm sorry to mix. plug pregatinis again, but you have the mama read. It in there. She was great. Right. <laughs> so, awesome. Again, with going off of the limeade, um, a little bit of uh, fresh citrus still. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Just everything minus the tequila? Really? Yeah. Well, Honestly, that's yeah, a good and, idea. And, and you're using the, one of the keys with non alcoholic cocktails yeah. mm -hmm. is to use fresh juices because okay. obviously okay. they taste a lot better. They're better for you. If you're pregnant, you want the extra nutrition. Definitely. Absolutely. So you can still use the same flavor profiles. Margarita is, you know, agave. So you can use agave nectar. You can okay. use fresh lime juice mm. with That's a little good. simple syrup and some fresh orange juice. You have the same flavor profiles without the liquor. In all nice. honesty, I actually am more often than not the designated driver because I drive myself everywhere. So I normally don't, don't drink very much when I go out. I do most of my drinking mm -hmm. on the show, clearly. But, <laughs> but I mean, really, when I go out, Me I really I, I try to awesome. find alternatives all the time because I want to still feel like I have that fun experience, but I don't want the alcohol. So it means a perfect exactly. option. Mm -hmm. It really exactly. is. Exactly. That's great. All okay, right, so over last. here, I just made um, an old fashioned cocktail. Okay. Now, the definition of cocktail a uh, uh -huh. cocktail is actually one. Uh, type of mixed drink and the okay. definition of cocktail is, is water bitter spirits and sugar So really? the old-fashioned is the old-fashioned way of making cocktails. I love the so bitters. So what we I have love in here bitters. is we put some bitters, we put some sugar, we use some rye whiskey and then so that's the bitter sugar spirit and then okay. the water we serve it on the rocks. Why, oh, is so this that, is why do people drink cocktail. like when I when you feel a little lightheaded or nauseous why do people drink the bitters? Oh, bitters were initially a, a, a medicinal remedy. It's a little, it's very strong spirit, but it's infused with bark and herbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so back, you know, 100, 200 years ago, people, apothecaries, natural doctors were using bitters. They would mix it with a little bit of sugar and water to oh, make it more palatable. Um, interesting. And then you would drink that as a medicinal remedy. And that's, yeah. that's why cocktails are so good for you. See? They're so good. You can find a benefit <laughs> into a cocktail. And this is, so this is like a, mm. this is like a rich drink. To I'm me, a that's, whiskey I girl. Smell. That's I love it. It smells great. It smells great. It's like a rich... The bitters, the sugar, the whiskey, the ice. Oh, yeah, that's very good. It's a very manly drink, too. I mean, <laughs> listen, it's a very womanly drink, too. But if but you're doing nice. a holiday party, maybe, you know, you might have men, you might have women. So you have, like, the Cosmos. You have Yeah, the men fashion. don't really drink the Cosmos as much. Or they like them. They just don't like to do exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> well, if you want information on how you can find Natalie's amazing books, as well as some of her interesting blogs, you can always go to theliquidmuse.com, and she can offer you many tips and many good recipes for the best possible drinks whether you're Thank drinking you. alcohol or not. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Happy, Happy holidays. Yeah. Love Happy having you here. So, nice so nice to be with you girls again. Thanks yeah, for having us. And cheers everyone. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. We'll be back after this. Cheers. Ching ching. Cheers.